Virgo, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today we're here to do a reading for you for the week of September 4th through September 10th. I'm going to take a look at your love energy, your person's love energy, and the energy of the overall connection. We're going to clarify a bit some of the cards. We're going to get some messages of love oracle cards, as well as a starseed oracle at the very end. All right. Virgo. What's going on with you and your person this week? It's the person on your mind. What is going on? Okay. Ooh, two of cups on your side. Four of swords and the high priestess. It's a really beautiful place to start the reading. They have the six of cups. Look at that. They're ready to put some work in. They see things clearly. There's a lot of forward momentum. Love is being, being first, but there's something hidden here. All right. The overall energy for the reading, King of Cups. So I love to see this card, especially for the overall energy. You know, it's a need for there to be a fair, balanced, loving approach. It's like, I think either you're both trying to, I'm feeling that you're both trying to work on this aspect in the relationship. Before we start clarifying, let's get some messages of love, Oracle. Now, this is how you see your person. It's a little capstone of the energy. Abundance. You've done the work, abundance flows to you. So I feel like either this person has the opportunity to bring more abundance into your life, or you've already experienced a feeling of abundance just by being with them, you know? And that can come in all kinds of ways, right? Whatever abundance means to you. Fate, this is a destined partnership. So they see you as part of their fate. I love that. No disagreements there. Ah, now look at that. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. All right, you do have something a bit unhealthy in the relationship. I think that if you're not aware, we're gonna figure that out. Okay, let's clarify. Virgo. Mm, again, maybe you're too much in your head, Virgo, about this person. I'm feeling you're in your head a lot about this person. You have a deep love for them. I think that you're taking a period of rest though, kind of. Really hone in on your intuition. I think that you feel intuitively drawn to this person. But by the same token, you also feel like I'm getting this sense of either you love them so much it's drained you or they're, you're just, there's a need for you to look within right now. Let's clarify though, before we go any further, I wanna clarify this King of Cups. Let's clarify this King of Cups, sweet spirit, show me. There we go. Knight of Swords, the Moon, Queen of Wands. I feel like you both have a very different approach to this relationship and maybe that's perhaps what you're trying to work on. I think that there is a tendency for both of you to not express the things that you're feeling, you know? I think you have a lot of passion for this individual. I see you as the Knight of Swords here. I think you're always feeling like you're chasing after their, your person. <laughs> they bring up a lot of emotion in you. I think they, they feel very passionately drawn to you but they, they tend to have a lot of fire. It's almost like the bond is very intense. Yeah, I'm getting this sense that you guys have had a lot of up and downs. You know, you take a more mental approach and how you express your feelings if you actually say how you feel, you have your heart open. With them, it's more like when 
the only way you know that they really like you is by the way they express their desire. I feel like they have a lot of desire for you, but the way it gets expressed, like you, you would, you want when they say they love you to mean it, you know, like maybe it's gotten to that point in your relationship where it's like, there are things that are being taken for granted. Just feel like your person has a lot of passion for you, but they don't know how to like express their feelings as well as you do. You have so much love for them though. You see them as your soulmate. It's this two of cups. Knight of Pentacles. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times you feel like you're kind of on the sidelines waiting on them. Like I said, like when they want you, they show up with all this like passion, but they run kind of hot and cold. You know, they put distance between you and they, you feel like you have to wait on them. Like I said, I feel like you feel, you have to chase after them a lot because they withdraw. Like they, they even withdraw from themselves. They just got this image of someone who just, they like to just like gaze out into the window or they just get lost sometimes in their own thoughts. They're very um, inward, inward, at least lately. And I think it has you worried um, that something's wrong. Yeah, I feel like this this energy has left you a little bit feeling like a bit trapped at times in your own thoughts and you feel like you're waiting a little bit. And despite, you know, on the outside, everything seeming normal and fine on the inside, there's, I feel like there's this tendency for you to have to pull information out of them and you don't, you wish that they would just be more open with their thoughts and feelings. They're very secretive. What's this Four of Swords? Yeah, I think, uh, I think you've been the one that's really manifested, you know, whenever you guys have disagreements, you're the one that always has to come to them and, and kind of yield, you know? You know, you get crippled a bit by trying to resolve the issues like each time you're having to get creative with trying to reach them yeah i just feel like at times they've in the waiting it's kind of made you overthink things and maybe i just get this sense that you're with someone that despite the love they've they haven't always been consistent in the way they show up and it's kind of put you in this place of just overall questioning you know what they really want because it's like they say they want you know marriage and they want you know this long-term commitment and you see that with them but from the day to day it's like there's something like not connecting not connecting and i think you've done a lot of work trying to manifest you know, all the opportunities for the two of you to to heal and come together as a team. It's like they, they, they continuously, I'm hearing, put distance in between the two of you and you, you haven't really quite figured out why. You know, you're like, I don't understand, you know, how they, someone could be so committed to me, but for me to feel so distant from them too at the same time. What is your intuition guiding you toward right now? Virgo, Knight of Cups, Five of Cups. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like your intuition has sometimes told you like, you know, this person, this love is, is really draining me. And a lot of the time I feel like, you know, they, you know, the Knight is someone who's coming towards you and they have like a lot of romanticism in mind. And they, it's like they're, they're, they're doing the things that should make you feel better, but there's something that is like, you know, I can't help but think that if you know it, like you're starting to understand there's something inauthentic about the way they're approaching you and the way they are showing their love towards you. And it's, it's made you um, unhappy at times. It's like, I just, I want them to be more emotionally available. Yeah, that's the biggest thing you're asking. I want them to be more emotionally available. Because when we talk, it's like pulling teeth. Like I can't get that depth, right? It's like they, they keep it for themselves. Well, you're with someone who's very mysterious. Very mysterious, Virgo. They see you, though, as a long-term loving commitment, contract, soulmate, 
And I think in their mind, they've put a lot of hard work into this. They know that you put a lot of hard work into this. It's like they, they see clearly that, you know, this is a love bond. Hmm. Hmm. All right, now in this love contract, despite it feeling like you guys were destined to meet, I almost feel like they're holding on to a lot of grief, you know, and sadness that has nothing to do with you, Virgo. Like I said, they're very mysterious. They're caught up in their head a lot. You know, they're showing up as the Queen of Wands. They see you as their king of wands. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, male, female. It's just maybe, you know, they're, they're trying to soften their perspective and be more receptive at this time. And that's why I think they're showing up as the queen. You know, and I think you're trying to come across more, um, less, less yielding to their way, right? There's some sadness that they're carrying. I think they, they overanalyze this too. I almost feel like this person, like, God, I feel like they're holding on to a lot of guilt. I'm getting this strong feeling of guilt. I don't know what that's about, Virgo. They feel guilty. Like maybe they haven't treated you. They know they haven't treated you the way you you need. And maybe only now you're starting to express your discontent or when you do, it's like they prom make promises that they can't keep. They can't, it's like all words, no action. They see you putting in a lot of work. They see you doing all the hard work. Are you with someone who's kind of lazy about the amount of energy they're putting in Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Sorry. Good dogs barking. I bet that's the male. All right, so we have. They're disciplined. They're sitting in. Yeah, like I said, there's. There's. I think that they've been on and off, in and out, undecided, and they've kind of toyed with this connection, knowing that you're you're like always willing to show up and do your best. And they're, I don't know, I think, I don't know if they have like a negative point of view around love, but they, it's almost like they, they tend to like shoot themselves in the foot every day. It's like, there's something about the way they deal with things around your relationship. I'm just seeing that they, they feel like they've put a lot of effort in it and you're still unhappy with the way things are. It's like they, they feel like they can't make you happy. But you're very clear. It's like, um, why am I having to put all this work in? And then when we have a conflict and you run away, you expect me to chase you and forgive you. It's almost like there's an inequity here. You know? Let's see. What's this Ace of Swords? Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the world. Wow. I think they do want, it's like, how can they want stability and security with you and yet remain guarded the entire time? This is the problem, Virgo. You're like, my heart is open to them. Love is needed. Is this person just not a loving human being? Like they're so guarded all the time, Jenna. Why are they so guarded? Like you've been nothing but loving and open and they see that they, it's almost like a victim mentality, right? And whenever you bring up your needs and your concerns, like they just throw that in your face. Like they become, they turn it around and they become the victim. They, they want stability and security with you, but they're not willing to put the work in to create it. And every time you confront them about their behavior of just being mysterious and withdrawn and you're like, is everything okay? Oh, I'm fine. Everything's good. And you know, they're not being honest with you or with themselves. It's almost like you just, you just want them to show up in a healthier way, Virgo, but you can't control that. It's this Knight of Swords. 
yeah, like there's in and there's this like, there's just this, this, the relationship between you is very charged, I'm feeling. Very charged. Like you guys, when you fight, you go round and round and round and round and round and round and you never really quite resolve it or get anywhere. Yeah. Maybe even other people are chiming in. Yeah. Ooh. I think that there was some dishonesty in this in this relationship. I think that there, there's some deceptive energies here, I think, on both sides. Maybe they haven't been quite honest about how they feel. You haven't been honest about how you feel. Right now, you guys are going through a period of withdrawal, conflict, stress. Boundaries are up. Guards are up. Swords have been drawn. <laughs> You're definitely fighting over something. Family could be involved in these fights. I'm seeing that today in some of the reads where there's just like, this five of wands is coming up a lot. It's like maybe family has just got too much sway in the situation. And they're in like, you're like, man, I don't want them to be involved in our stuff. We are a couple. We're not married to them or we're not, you know, if this is a marriage, it's like there's a lot of other opinions involved. about something that was deceptive. Either someone's not being honest in the relationship itself, or you guys are not being honest. Like if someone's acting, you know, I just heard a double life. Or if you're just not being honest about what you're both feeling and really getting through to one another. What's this Knight of Cups? Yeah, there's a lot of pain between you. I think you guys both need to take a hard, long look at your expectations around love. You can't get to a place of happiness and long-term commitment if you're both carrying pain and you're letting the pain guide you. You're being called in your reunion, in your relationship to put the love first. The King of Cups and the Knight of Cups here. I don't doubt that there's love here. It's just... There's a lot of pain in the way of achieving this. And it's almost like whatever you're investing in, there was some dishonesty around someone's ability to really invest wisely and like give what this relationship needs. And it's like, I feel like you're getting tired. You're getting tired of the way things are, Virgo, and I'm sorry. What's this devil? It's like you want change, but it's like they're not, I don't really see them changing, Jenna. What do you do when you want change and no change is happening? Yeah, King of Cups, just what you ended with. You both want to be in a more loving partnership. But there's something unhealthy about the way someone is showing up and what they're, they are giving. You have an opportunity here, right, to create more consistency in order to build. And I feel like there's one person that is waiting on the other person to step up and stop blaming, stop being a victim. Yeah, someone is being a victim, withholding, not being honest. It's like if they would just invest wisely, if they would just invest, it's almost like you've got someone who's like, not pretending because they know they love you and they wanna be with you, but it's like they're not showing up authentically in life. It's almost like you've created this whole life together. But I think there's there's been some uncertainty along the way about whether this person really can give you an equal you know, fair, healthy, doing the work, putting the time in, staying open, dealing with things in a mature way, not making your conflicts worse, not charging ahead in battle and being so headstrong that they can't even say they're sorry. I feel like you've been wanting an apology from them for so long and all you get is just someone showing up in an unhealthy way. 
Knight of Cups can often indicate an apology is needed here. They're, they're so stubborn about accepting blame, about softening. You know, the best thing that you can do when you have a fight with someone you love or if there's a deep conflict or there was dishonesty, if they're not willing to really apologize and be sincere about their remorse and they're holding on to guilt and they're just covering it up and not being honest, Virgo, I think that you've you've really, really waited a long time for this person to kind of show up in a healthy way for you. And um, it's it's just been round after round after round. So I think that it's really important that the two of you get clear. If you are facing getting married, it's going to, you know, a lot of people, I never did this. I've been married before. Um I never got like marriage counseling ahead of time. I think it's really important. So you both are on the same page about finances, you know, your sex life, how you communicate. I mean, if you can't talk about these things before you get married, then you have no business getting married. I mean, I'm just being honest because it takes so much like navigation skills, communication skills, um, not being so headstrong, you know, compromise, cooperation, you know, if you've got someone that's showing up in a toxic way, you can try all you want, sweetheart. And you could you can be the better person every single time, but at the end of the day, you're just sacrificing yourself and and saying that it's enough for you to be with someone who's gonna continue to be toxic and show up in an unhealthy way in your life. And that's on you at the end of the day. And I'm just being real, okay? A lot of people don't want to hear this stuff. But you know, when I see cards like this and there's pain and conflict. And someone who's unwilling to apologize when they've obviously done wrong then you're contending with an energy that is probably not going to change and you get to decide whether you want to allow that and that means you know get the help that you need and if this person still isn't willing to grow and change and all you do is fight over them just needing to be a mature individual then, you know, that's your answer. You know, if they're not willing, if they don't even want to go, you know, it's almost like you have these unmet expectations and they're harping on you for having them, but these are normal expectations of just being authentic and showing up and communicating in a healthy way. So anyway, sorry, this one's getting longer than I wanted it to be. All right. The Courageous pe Peony. Multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. That's what I mean. It's like you're you're contending with such a strong force of nature. And I think this person really intrigues you and you're very passionate about them and you love them and you see you maybe have created a life, a better life for yourself by being with them. But are you happy? Ask yourself that. Are you happy? Are you fulfilled? Do you see a stable future? And if you really need to ask yourself those questions before you get to the point of no return. You don't want to make a mistake here. You have to choose wisely, especially when it comes to who you marry. Okay. All right. That's what I got for you, Virgo, this week. I'll see you the next one. Take care.